what's up guys northern light seer here and so <laughs> downloads be coming in quick all right your girl's broadband internet to the divine is wide open and it's coming in fast so and whenever <laughs> whenever this happens I, 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 my connection to the divine is always there, but there's periods of time where it is just, just information downloads just coming in hot. And I always think of this card, the high priestess from the light seers tarot here. And I always hear, I always think of it as my broadband connection to the divine. And I, spirit, I actually just heard. This is a fiber optics cable. It is just lightning fast. Wow. I think that is an upgrade. I've been upgraded from broadband to fiber optic. 111, 112. Damn it. 112 needs to leave me the hell alone. Anyways, so let's go ahead and give Crystal a tap here. I want to I want to get my energies right. Okay, here we go. I see a crescent moon. My eyes are closed. I see a crescent moon surrounded by a bunch of stars. I see the color purple. I see the color pink. I see like a teal. I see green and white. I'm seeing all kinds of colors just blending and swirling around. Wow, okay. Interesting. I love this thing. Okay. Love it. And like I said before, I've been drawn to pyramids. And so when I saw this, I fell in love with it and I just had to have it. I would highly recommend it. Highly. All right. So we're going to put that right there. Okay. I have this piece of paper here and when I bought this okay from my local metaphysical shop the lady there that owns the shop she handed me this piece of paper and told me to read it and I was like all right so I brought it home and I read it and so I want to share it with you it says the universe what is the new age anyway? It's people taking conscious responsibility for their own lives, not blaming others for their problems. It's people who deliberately decide to learn and grow. It's people that don't have to be right, except for themselves. It's people seeing problems as lessons, perhaps in a long series of lives and lessons. It's people who believe that we think we, it's people who believe we are what we think we are and we can change ourselves by changing our thinking. It's people that feel that they can change the world by changing themselves, not by trying to change others. It's people who search for strength from the universe by going inside themselves. It's people that recognize love doesn't have to have conditions attached. It's people loving and knowing themselves in order to know, in order to better know and love others. It's people who see others as not better than or less than, but rather different than themselves, yet part of the same whole. It's people that choose their own path rather than follow dogma. It's people honoring your right to your own path, not theirs. It's people who realize that now is all we have, since yesterday is just a thought and so is tomorrow. 
It's people interested in owning themselves rather than things. It's people who see joy in life rather than pain, having experienced enough pain already. It's people curious about extra sensory perception in all it implies. It's people in all walks of life, from business persons to flower essence healers, psychologists to UFO investigators. New Age is not a new religion with a hierarchy of priests and rituals seeking converts, though some New Agers choose some ritual. New Age is not often gloom and doom, though we, many are concerned about ecology, the economy, and other forces that affect our world. New Age is not a movement based on guilt, anger, fear, or hurt. It is a journey toward the love that is God. New Age is not allegiance to one master. It is learning from many masters in the quest for the oneness of God. New Age could not become a cult because it is because of what is said above. New Age is not just humans doing, it is humans being. And I feel like that is absolutely gorgeous. I know that at some point in in my channel, I have said every single one of these things. This is what my channel is all about right here on one piece of paper. And I just find that absolutely gorgeous. And so I'm sitting here and I'm my eye is drawn to my Pleiadian Wisdom Oracle cards. This is a this is a gigantic deck, okay? Its cards are big and it's thick. Okay, I, I've got a lot of them pulled out right here because I started shuffling. So I was shuffling, <laughs> and the first thing that I see at the bottom of the deck is this card right here. It says healing and being. It, blo it blew my brain because the new age is not just humans doing, it is humans being. This card says Look at who you need to be rather than who, what you need to do. And I've said that we are called human beings, not human doings. And so I'm going to read this. Hence why <clears throat> my fiber optic connection to the divine just got blowed wide open. I think, I think I've gone through an upgrade. Look at who you need to be rather than what you need to do. To heal completely includes healing all old concepts, all old judgments, and all old beliefs that no longer serve you. The first step for healing is to look at who you need to be rather than what you need to do in your life or in the outer world. The physical world is a manifestation of thought energy. So your thoughts need to be consistently of a higher vibration to change a lower vibrational imbalance or disease. The old you must, stop, must drop away before you can move into healing whatever may be out of balance. Remember that you are a divine spark of light which gives you the power to heal anything within you. To initiate this energy here, begin working on yourself by releasing whatever is out of balance and no longer serves your overall health. And that is exactly what we did all the way through 2022 so that we could come into 2023 with that clean slate so that we could focus on human being, not human doing, and especially human doing for the sake of other people or for the fear of other people's judgments about our own self and how we choose to lead our lives. That is no one else's business, okay? And anyone's opinion about how we choose to lead our lives is none of our business, okay? 
none of our business. That's their business. That's their opinion. And they can have it. They can keep it. They can keep it. They can, if they can think whatever they want to think, and they can go think it again. And so, this card ended up at the bottom of the deck. And, okay, there's no such thing as coincidence. All it is, is pieces of puzzle to, uh, pieces of information that helps us put together this puzzle uh, that we call our life. Okay? And each one of us, we <laughs> so we put together these puzzle pieces we get we get these pieces right and we put together a puzzle of our life and then that big puzzle that we put together of our own life is <laughs> it's one that puzzle is a is one piece of a collective whole so when we come together with everything that we've learned and put together our own puzzle within ourself, 1111, we can then contribute that piece to the bigger puzzle as a whole, as a collective. My piece connects with yours and then connects with the next one. And then we connect with the next one until we have the bigger picture, until we are all one. Damn. I'm telling you, high, high speed broadband fiber optic internet connection straight from the divine. <laughs> and look, I saw a crescent moon. I saw pink. I saw purple. I saw teal. I saw white. Oh my God. Wow. And look, okay. She's got a blue shawl or... That looks like her shirt. It kind of looks like a halter, but it's around her throat, okay? The throat chakra. I just saw 12-12, okay? Communication, expressing self. Her eyes are closed, but you can see, she can see through her eyelids, okay? She's seeing things differently. I just had my eyes closed, but I could see clear pictures or I could see these colors swirling around clear as day, okay? I don't know this card by heart, but I saw all of these colors while I was doing this crystal pyramid, okay? That, it, wow. Pop, <laughs> pop in my brain, okay? There's the, the moon surrounded by stars, okay? Wow, damn, damn. It's, it's popping my brain. And so, I, after this card, I have a stack of cards here that just went one right after the other, just peeling them off the bottom of this deck, okay? And I could literally go through this entire deck with you guys, and it would be an, an entire hour like I could just just go through and read this entire deck to you it is freaking amazing okay if you want to activate get this deck right here the Pleiadian wisdom oracle cards it's gorgeous it's activating it empowers okay so I just, I, I stopped here and was like, damn, I can't put all these on my table. I'm not going to have room for that. So I'm just going to make a stack and we're going to go through this. The one, the next one underneath that is the spiritual wisdom healing card. Use both your physical and spiritual bodies as partners in healing. Relationship, emotions. This is a relationship card. This deck has um, four or five different um, sections with a bunch of cards for each section, okay? I guess you could call it a suit. Your negative and uncomfortable emotions indicate that you need to change your beliefs and perspectives. Okay, that came up here about not living your life based on other people's opinions of what you should be doing what what do you think you should be doing all right we each have a different mission 
on this earth, on this rock, okay? Each of us has a different puzzle piece to, to contribute to the collective. If you're uncomfortable in the situations that you're in, okay, it's time to change that. Not worrying about what other people expect of you. We have another relationship card. Attachment. Release your attachments to anyone or anything. That's right. Letting it go. Purging. Doing that, doing that purge. Clearing out anything that does not serve your highest good. Evolution card. Okay, this one's about trust. Take back your power by clearing your fears and trusting in the universe. I just saw 1551, okay? I keep seeing that number. I've got to look it up. I promise. I know I've said a few times that I'm going to look that up and post it. I'm going to do it this time. 1551, okay. Take back your power. Trust. Do the purge. Quit worrying about what other people expect of you about what and, and their judgments of how you choose to live your life. If you're not hurting no one, then fuck them, okay? We have an evolution card, ascension. You are on the path of ascension, creating your future self as a new human, the new age, a new human, a new human that chooses to live their life as a human being instead of a, hu a human doing. We have relationship, a relationship card, being different. Being different is neither good nor bad. It is just different. And that's the thing. Okay. We have to let go of the fears of other people's judgments and uh, about how they think we should be. All right. Maybe they should focus more about how they should be and leave, the, leave anybody else alone. We have the freedom and the choice to live our lives how we see fit. It's okay to be different. It's not good or bad. It's just different. And sometimes people, judgmental people, have a hard time wrapping their teeny tiny little brains around the fact that we are all different. We have a purpose card. This one's about service. Your highest service in the world is to refine and become the best version of yourself. And that's right. Okay. We are here to do and to be for our highest self. What serves your highest good? And what serves the highest good for the collective? If you are living your life in the best version of yourself, then that is going to be the, the, your contribution to the collective as a whole. We have a purpose card here. Heart wisdom. Always follow the truth that lives within your heart, okay? Your heart, not, not their heart, not his heart, not her heart, not your neighbor's heart, not your family's heart, not, not your friend's hearts, okay? Not yours. What is in your heart? What makes you feel like the best version of yourself? That is what we need to focus on. We have an, an evolution card. This is about gratitude. Be grateful for what you have rather than wishing for something else. Okay? And that, an attitude of gratitude. I talk about that all the time. Be happy with what you do have. Be grateful. When you wake up, thank the universe for the opportunity to be able to live and breathe another day. Because it is a gift we have another manifestation card, a choice. Making op appropriate choices in every moment to manifest the world you want to see. We've been talking about this a lot. You are the creator of your reality. You get to choose what you want to see in your world, in your life. We have a relationship card, harmony. There's a yin yang there. Harmonize opposite and dualistic view, viewpoints for a more balanced life. That's right. This is taking a different viewpoint. Say someone does have a different viewpoint on <clears throat> how to perceive or 
uh, see things, be open to that. As long as they're not judging you because, uh, you, well, look, I picked it up right to it. Because you're different, you know, we, if, as long as they are offering a viewpoint or a vantage point from an understanding that we are all different and they're just trying to uh, stimulate your brain to help you think about something a little differently, that is okay. Harmonize with it. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, let it go. We have a relationship card here. Self-love and shadow. You must fully love yourself before you are able to truly love another, which I find interesting here that it came right behind an, a yin-yang card, the light and the dark, the love and the shadow, the, the, the good and the bad, okay, which came, you know, which is right here. Being different. We are both. We all of us have light and dark within us. It's about finding the balance, the harmony. And you can't, you have to love both sides of yourself in order to fully love another. We have a purpose card right here. Source connection. Because you are a divine spark of light, you always have a direct connection to source. And the more you activate and the more time that you spend in connection, getting in touch with your higher self, with your angels, your, your guides, your ancestors, your archangels, the divine, with God himself, boom. Broadband internet connection, baby. And it the downloads just come in. Whew! This is, that's your source connection, okay? Being comfortable with you. We have a nature card, resonance. To understand the energy of a place, feel the energy of the land throughout your hand and foot chakras. That is why when we, when I ground, okay, I love walking around outside barefoot because when we wear shoes, that creates a barrier between the vibration and the energy of Mother Earth and us. We, that it puts a barrier there. We can't absorb that vibration because when we're barefoot, the vibrations come through us, out of us, into Mother Earth to be, to be dissipated and recycled. And she puts in good vibrations into us. Walk around barefoot in the grass, in the sand, whatever, in the water, okay, along the beach, whatever it is that makes you feel good, okay? And that's why it's good to touch things. Uh, our hands and fingers are tactile, that we, we are very extra sensitive with our hands and fingers. We can, we can know what we're touching a lot of times and that's because there's a reason for that it, if you feel guided to to different textures and different temperatures okay there there's a reason for that it's because it's your resonance manifestation card of the future Focus on the now to manifest your future. Stay in the present because the seeds that you sow now will bloom in the future. Boom. We've been talking about that a lot. We have an evolution card, a challenge. When challenges arise, simply see them as opportunities for growth. It says that right here. When people... It's people seeing problems as lessons, perhaps in a long series of life, lives and lessons. Every opportunity, doesn't matter if it's challenging or not, even if it's a shitty situation, okay? It's an opportunity to learn and grow. We have another evolution card, a higher consciousness. Use your higher consciousness to continually make every choice for the highest good of all. 
and that's right. As long as your choices are for the highest good, for the greater good, you can't go wrong. Purpose, remember. To achieve your purpose, you must simply remember who you are. I've talked about that before. I always think about Simba's dad in the Lion King up in the clouds telling him, remember who you are. Yes, we have a nature card, water. About This is about letting it flow. Let water teach you how to flow around challenges and obstacles of your life. Okay, let them, let the, let, it, let water teach you how to, evol to, okay, how to evolve when it comes to challenges and life lessons. Anything that challenges you is a lesson, is a lesson in growth. Okay, in evolution. Let water teach you how to go to flow with it rather than resist. Okay. We have manifestation card. This is the rainbow body. You are manifesting your future self in the form of your rainbow body. Okay. This is all about your chakras being in alignment. Okay. It starts at the base. It goes up through the root. The sac sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, the crown, and the soul star. And then you've got your stellar gateway. Talked about this before, and this download came to me yesterday. Uh, this is this this stellar gateway is the is the chakra that resides. What was it? Twenty four to thirty six meters above your head. Okay, there's that broadband. Whew. Okay, it, it's an open channel to the divine and it starts at the root and you it works its way up. When you are in complete alignment, you are manifesting your future self, okay? What you, you got to, you have to manifest with your future in mind. What do you want to see in your reality? We have another manifestation card, creativity. Use your creative powers to invoke what you wish to manifest. Get creative with it. What do you want to see? It's all up to you. We have another relationship card, conflict. Always be open to the viewpoints of others to lessen or eliminate conflict. This goes back to that yin-yang, being open to something different, okay? Okay. If it, if someone comes to you and stimulates your brain or offers a way of thinking about things that works for them and they think it might be good or work for you, think about it. Take it into consideration. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. You, you might find out later that it does as long as that seed has been planted. Talking about planting seeds and everything and all lately. We have a nature card here. This is about storms. When you have a storm brewing in your life, you can always find safety in your own heart. The answer through all of our life's challenges, all of our life's lessons lies within ourselves, within our own heart. And I could just, like I said, I could go through this entire deck. Look, we got... A manifestation card right here. Harmony with a yin-yang right there. Create harmony in every aspect of your life. Trust. Okay, trust in your purpose. Your job is to remain free of fear, open to trust, and curious about what is coming next. Curious, not anxious. We have a future self. Okay. Shine your light in all directions as you become your future self. Boom. I just absolutely love this deck. Honor your body's rhythms and cycles to live in harmony with nature. Changing the world. When you change yourself, you help to change the circumstances in the world. 
That's a, okay. When you change yourself for the higher good, for the betterment of yourself, that you can communicate that. Spirit had me bring up this blue throat chakra shawl for a reason. Because you can, you can express that and teach others changing the world. Shining your light. Shine your light in all directions as you become your future self. This deck is absolutely incredible. I love this deck. You should get this deck. You should get this deck. But I'm going to save some for future readings because I could go through this entire deck right now. I just cut it to multi-dimensionality. You are changing and evolving as you move into becoming more multi-dimensional. Okay? And you have, look, there's a pyramid on this one. Responsibility. You are never responsible for solving someone else's problems. It's up to them. It's okay to have compassion. Okay? Be compassionate rather than reactive in situations. But it... You, you, it, it's up to them to take responsibility for their life. And it's up to you to take responsibility for your life. It is never anyone's responsibility to take response, to take action or responsibility on your life and offer their judgments and their preconceived notions that they think would be good for you. No, uh-uh, absolutely not. You're changing form. There is nothing wrong with you. You are simply changing into a lighter version of yourself because you're focused on light and love. Your sole purpose in life is to be of light and love. And that is how you're going to change the world. Damn. Wow. Whew. All right, Sarah, set it down. Set it down. I got, oh, man. Okay, this is all about, this is an activation period manifesting what you want to see for yourself and I'm here to help empower you and uplift you and give you the information to let you know that it is okay to stop worrying about what other people are going to think okay other people's opinions and their judgments are none of your business damn I also pulled out this Pleiadian activation card out of this, out of the uh, Gateway to Gateway of Light activation deck by Kyle Gray. This is also a deck that I would highly recommend that you get. I posted a link on Hay House. They're having a massive sale, and a bunch of Kyle Gray decks are on sale. Go check it out, you guys. This deck was in there. I think it was like t 11 or 12 bucks. Maybe even 10. This is normally like a 20 something dollar deck. It was 50% off. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> this Palladian activation deck coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. Okay. This is all about coming together, activating all your chakras clear up way up past your head. 33 33. The spiritual gangsta looked up that number in one of his recent readings. This is all about can putting together our puzzle because our puzzle is one piece of the collective's puzzle as a whole. And if we can all come together with our piece of the, our puzzle that we put together and enter that in, we're going to have a much bigger picture. It's gorgeous. I want to go ahead and grab some more out of this activation of light oracle here. Serious star blessings, okay? This can I did a reading about this one in particular, all right? Yes, proceed, be seen, push through. Seraphim's Gateway, Voice Activation, Angelic Attunement, Divine Support. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look at it. Voice Activation, Expressing Self, Teaching and Showing the World, Helping the World with what you have learned. Temple of Truth. 
okay? Activating voice activation of your truth. And look, there's Orion right there, okay? The Sirius star resides within Orion's belt. These two were, I've done two readings on these two alone, all right? You can find those readings down in my playlist. Yeah, Stargate Heart. Heart chakra opening, unlocking, and generosity. Solar light upgrade, a solar plexus chakra upgrade. Inner fire, your willpower. Sword of light, divine protection, cords cut, and a breakthrough energy. Look at that shit. Whew! Makes it hard to breathe. <laughs> Hathor light codes, light immersion, full system upgrade. I have just said, it's I've gone through an upgrade, a full system upgrade. It's like I went from dial up to fiber optics. A power recall, remember who you are. You're getting light codes, light immersion, solar light upgrade. Look at this shit. Spirit just be. Whew. Confirmation after confirmation. You're walking through portals. You're opening up your heart, your all your chakras, all the way up to your stellar gateway. Infinite potential in a manifestation vortex, which is exactly where we're at. This time that we are in, in the year 2023, is a manifestation vortex. This time in this year is going to be, it's going to be the laying down that groundwork for your future. I am presence, light body activation, assessing the divine within. Look at all of this light radiating from you all you light workers out there it is literally busting out crown chakra upgrade more light arterian light codes okay <clears throat> you're getting light codes from many different sources Many different uh, guides and ancestors up there. It's incredible. We've got the Pleiadians. We've got the Lumerians. We've got the Halthor. We've got the Arcturian. We've got the Anunnaki. We've got star being healing codes. It's, it's coming in. It's coming in. We've got... The Thoth light codes, okay? <clears throat> and I know that there's an Atlantean light code as well. Yeah, we've got the Halls of Learning, higher heart activation. There's the Lumerian seed codes, okay? It's the divine planting seeds within us. And it's elevating it's elevating us. Look, there's the divine matrix. Okay. We've got the Venusian Galactic Council here. There's Gaia. Gaia Gateway Activation. Third Eye. And then there's the Merkaba Activation. I mean, this deck is absolutely incredible. And however you're getting your light codes, they're all here. They're all here. They are all here. Today, I need to get, I'm pretty sure there's one of these with the Lumerian. And I need to get it. Phew! Alright, I want to go ahead and pull out some tarot here from the Light Seers. This is, these are my favorite kind of readings to use this deck for. The Light Seers Tarot. We all know it. We all love it, right? Let's see what it has to say. 
That's right. I can't ever shuffle this deck right sideways. I got to do it the other way. <clears throat> it's kind of a stiff deck though, so it's kind of hard. There we go. <clears throat> this is all about remembering who you are, not what other people think you should be. We are human beings, not human doings. Look at who you need to be rather than what you need to do. And when this paper, when I got through it and, and read this, the new age is not just humans doing, it is humans being. And then after all that shuffling that I did in this deck, and this one is what ended up at the bottom, I about shit. <laughs> I did. And so, of course, I had to jump on here. I had to for you guys. I had to share it. I had to share it with you guys. Yeah, look at this. This Eight of Swords. Okay, other people's judgments, other people's ideas of what they think that you should be doing. Okay, it's going to get keep you stuck right here. Bound. Stuck in your mental prison, in your in a soul asylum. You're not going to be able to grow that way. See yourself for who you really are. If you listen to other people and what they think you should be doing, this is what you're going to see in your reflection. Bound. It's time to let that go. This chariot, okay, there's the light and the dark. And there you are on top of this chariot in taking back your power and moving forward. I'm going to make some room here real quick. All right, Crystal's going to go on the floor. Okay, expressing your truth, okay? Living in your truth, not someone else's. Let's get another shuffle in here. Yeah, weaving the fabric of your own life. I love that. Going through a massive transformational period with this death and rebirth. Massive. Okay. There's the moon. Okay. There's more light and dark energy. This is yin yang energy. Getting into the deep depths of yourself, of who you are. I feel like this is bringing your true self up to the surface. The things that uh, that you have kept hidden or that you oh that you didn't even know were there. It's time to bring it up to the surface, and this transformational process is gonna be what is gonna be what brings you there. Getting real clear on it and making the cuts, okay. Cutting out what no longer serves you and being, this is a, a higher intelligence. She's sitting on a, um, some mattresses, okay? And there's there's these lessons, okay? She keeps her heart in a, in a cage right here because she's been hurt. She, and other people have done this to her or him, okay? But she, it, it's, it was learn as a lesson and now it's time to let your freak flag fly love it yeah look two of wands it's looking into your future and making plans manifesting what you want to see in your future there's a big giant window of opportunity here Okay. I'm 
I'm just going to take the top one, the seven of pentacles, sowing those seeds. This is, this is those seeds of intention, nurturing it, planting them in fertile soil, nurturing them, making sure they have water and light and so that your tree, this is, that looks like it's going to be a tree. Okay. So that your tree of life can grow the tree of your life. And I picked up on this in a personal reading yesterday that I, I, okay. And I've picked up on it before. There is a tree out there with your name on it that you go find that tree and you sit under it and you're going to connect with the, you're going to connect with the divine through connecting with nature, touch it with those, with the, with your fingers. Okay. This deck, one of these cards said to connect with nature through your hands and your feet. We have chakras in more than just uh, uh, the, the seven, okay? We have chakras everywhere at all points. At every point that we bend in our hands, in our feet, everywhere. This is planting those seeds of intention and manifesting. Okay, you see that magic right there? Manifesting the world that you want to see for yourself. Doesn't matter what anyone else thinks you should be doing because that's going to look, there's manifestation right there. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks you should be doing. All that's going to do is create chaos and conflict. We're going to put that right here next to this Eight of Swords energy. We are in a manifestation vortex. Damn. I love this. This person's hoodie has an infinity sign on it. Infinite abundance. As long as you're living your best life and you and your future the seeds that you're planting, that you're manifesting right now. Okay, look at these yellows, backgrounds. Those, these two cards go together, okay? Manifest what you want to see in your life for your higher self, for your best self, where you can thrive. Yeah, look, there's the light in the dark again. It keeps coming out with this yin-yang energy here. Where is it, spirit? Hold on. Manifesting harmony, okay? Create harmony in every aspect of your life. You hold the key. I didn't even see that. Look at that. You hold the key when it comes to conflict resolution. Always be open to viewpoints of others to lessen or eliminate conflict, okay? Always be willing to hear someone's perspective. But that doesn't mean that you that you know that you have to lead your life by that. Yeah. There's okay relationships, harmony. Harmonize opposite and dualistic viewpoints for a more balanced life. Okay. Temperance. Finding that balance. This right here is the deliberate manifester. The deliberate creator. Manifesting harmony. With the light and the dark. This chariot has a light and a dark horse. Taking back your power and moving forward. This moon card has a light and a dark wolf. Howling at the moon. The wolves howl at the moon. To, to claim their power. To draw in their power from the moon. 
manifesting harmony, the light and the dark. This is a deliberate creator, a deliberate manifester, and it's angel support, the light and the dark, the sun and the moon. And victory. Because why? Because you lead with your heart. Your heart of gold. It's going to get you recognition. You're going you're gonna to help other people. She has an audience. You're going to show. You're going to lead the way for other people to come out of this lack mindset that other people's opinions and the and the three D world, the matrix that we all, the programming that uh, that this world places upon us from birth that we realize later that we have to shed and change that shit that keeps us right here because we constantly feel like we're never enough. All right, the key is right there all along to open this door of new possibilities. There's the Queen of Wands, another powerful manifester. Realizing that you have options, okay? Look at this judgment card. This judgment card, you are setting your soul free. Set, setting your soul free to be its best. To be your true and beautiful, authentic self. And that is where you find your justice. You bring yourself justice. This is more light, dark energy right here. Finding the balance. Creating the balance. Getting out of hangman mode. Okay? But also... Seeing that new perspective that allows you to be flexible, to find some flexibility, finding your soul tribe with the two of cups. Okay, there's more light and dark energy right here. Differences, allowing people to be different. Okay, one of these cards said was talking about being different we are all different and we can embrace that it's okay to embrace your differences for people to judge another because of differences could you imagine what a boring world we would live in if we were all exactly the same it's making me think of uh what am i seeing spirit I'm seeing that Eminem song, the video. I've created a monster, but nobody wants to see Marsha no more. They want Shady on Chopped Live Off. -na 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 -na. There's a clip in that video where it's a whole bunch of Slim Shadies all exactly the same, and they're kind of marching. Okay? That would be boring as hell. Boring as hell. Finding your soul tribe. Those that are comfortable with their colors of their soul. We are more than just black and white. Okay? It's more than just black and white. It's the rainbow body. Embracing your rainbow body. Damn. Manifesting your future self in the form of your rainbow body. Lighten up all those chakras. You bring yourself justice when you do that. And you're going to help others as well. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Putting in the work. Putting in the work, work, work. This is also... Okay, you could connect with the lunar cycles. The lunar cycles are really important when it comes to manifesting. It, new moons are all about bringing in the new and manifesting the new. And then the full moons are all about releasing things that no longer serve you. And it comes in cycles. This, this deck, I saw a cycles card. Go with the cycles of nature. Okay, 
There's always going to be something to purge and something to manifest. Always. We've got the world card. Okay. I got the eight of cups right before it. Walking away. Closing out cycles. That rainbow body. Okay. Closing out cycles and walking away from what doesn't serve us. This small-minded belief systems here that creates conflict amongst others okay and so a new one can begin finding the balance and there's the empress right there okay getting in touch with mother earth mother nature divine feminine energy right here Finding the balance. There's more light and dark energy. Okay. It's a long journey. It is. With that Knight of Pentacles. It's a long journey. But there will be happiness and celebrations. You will find your Four of Wands. You will dance again. Ooh. I like it. Jump into that healing pool. Okay. Take the risk. Fall backwards. Do a trust fall with spirit. With the divine, they will catch you. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Okay. This is all about what sets your soul on fire. That a new perspective that can just light you up. Take that trust fall with the divine. Don't be getting stuck in this nine of swords, eight of swords energy, this conflict, okay? Whether it's conflict with other people or it's conflict within yourself because of other people. You got to purge that and, and ascend with the hierophant right there. Going, you know, finding your inner peace, meditating, ascending. Yes. Where's the, uh, there's the hermit right there. Okay. Being the light in the dark. Okay. And look, there's an ascension process there too with these stairs right here. Light in the dark. It's all about your light aspect and shadow aspect. Okay. Whew. Damn. All right. Let's go ahead. And since we're here, I want to go ahead and pull out some of these inner fucking peace oracle. And then we'll close. Yeah. Sit happens. Look. Look at this. Sit happens. Let sit happen to you. <laughs> Let it happen. Let sit happen. Okay. Let yourself ascend. It's beautiful. Dance in the storm. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay. That was just right off the box. Right out of the box. Om, om shakalaka. Oh my God. Thank you, spirit. Let your freak flag fly. 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 I'm telling you. Thank you for the confirmation on my energy read. I love this. Om shakalaka. <laughs> Oh my God, I love my guides. I cut it right to it. Oh my God, wow. Silence your inner critic. Yeah, tell that little douchebag voice to pipe down. This right here. Another confirmation on my energy read. Yes, 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 all the yeses, yes. Give that shit up. There's better shit on the horizon. 
Yeah. Namaste, bitches. Namaste. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Mm-hmm. Namaste, bitches. <laughs> the divine in me honors the divine in you. I love that. Okay. Sit down and shut up. In other words, meditate. That's right. Okay. Look at this. Sit happens. Let allow, Meditate. Allow yourself to connect and ascend. This is beautiful. What a gorgeous reading. Here's another. Here's another one. Tame the shit show by finding calm in the chaos. One word. Meditate. Look at this. We were talking about getting outside. Get your sweet ass outside. Live in the sunshine. Swim in the sea. Drink the wild air. I just saw 010111. Wow. Okay. This is an amazing little deck. Keep your word. Something is so right about that. That's right. Communicate. Keep your word. Don't be flaky. Zen as buck. Chakras locked, uh, loaded, and ready. Okay? Mm-hmm. Rainbow body. You get zen as fuck. Chakras loaded and ready. Yeah. Highly meditated <laughs> with a license to chill. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Chilling like a boss. Don't let dumbasses get you down. Okay. That's yes. Don't let dumbasses with small minds get you down, okay? You were meant to change the world, and it's all up to you. We are right now planting our seeds in the middle of a manifestation vortex. I love you guys. I'm going to leave this one here. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, just so you know, these ones right here are my favorite ones to do. How to help you ascend. What does your, what does, what does the divine want to know for you in particular, specifically for you? Information is down below. Happy ascending. I love you. Peace, love, and light.